So, the Deadlock Protocol update is coming this week for PC. You're going to have Protean, new weapons, the Corpus Ship Tile Set rework. You're getting the Jackal Boss rework and some more changes as well. But we're also being told last night of some previously unannounced changes. So, what's up you beautiful feckers? How you all doing? Now, the Kuva Brahma is getting a nerf. I know, right? Get your salt out. It might not be too bad. I guess we'll know when we get our hands on it ourselves. And I'll go over the changes in a second. There is no denying how powerful the Kuva Brahma was, or currently still is, until that update drops. While also how hard it is on your eyes if more than one person in your squad was running with that weapon. It is the most powerful explosive weapon in game right now. It is also the most used primary weapon in game, and it is used three times times more than any other primary weapon which according to digital extremes is a clear sign of it being too dominant or powerful which is why these changes are happening okay so the changes the ammo reserve of the kuva brahma is being changed from 15 down to 5 and it will gain fewer ammo pickups this apparently is to encourage players to focus on larger crowds and not just spam your shots everywhere the brahma will also have fewer cluster bombs with this update from 7 down to 3 cluster bombs unmodded but they've also increased Increased the cluster grenade's radius of explosions from 2.7 meters to 3.5 meters. On top of that, they have reduced the amount of damage fall off that those clusters will suffer from. So this means that the Brahma will have five arrows in reserve, right? It sounds really bad, but Vigilante Supplies as a mod in your Exile slot should fix that issue. You shouldn't have to worry about arrows once you've got that mod equipped. And the Brahma will have fewer cluster grenades, but those clusters will now blanket a much larger area while also not suffering from as much damage fall off, so more consistent damage. The clusters will deal more damage to enemies further away from that point of impact than they currently do in game. So it doesn't feel like too much of an nerf. The Brahma has still got one of the highest damage outputs of any weapon in game, so unless they change that, it has a very fast draw speed, no longer has self damage, and it has the 60% Kuva damage bonus, depending on what bonus you were lucky enough to get with your Kuva Brahma. So the nerf feels pretty small in the grand scheme of things. However, the big thing about this post that they put up in relation to the Kuva Brahma is that this nerf is probably only the first part. At the end of the post they mentioned that they will be monitoring the changes to make sure it's struck a better balance but not one that overshadows everything else in game. To me that reads as if it's still too powerful then there is more changes to be made and since I don't feel like this nerf looks like it's going to be too bad, chances are it will get another one. Now on top of these changes they are also changing the Riven disposition of new weapons added into the game from 1.0 Riven disposition once that new weapon gets added down to 0.5. So no longer I guess will new weapons have a neutral Riven disposition, they will have quite a low one. This is to stop new powerful weapons getting their hands on powerful Rivens straight away from release which then leads to I guess that Riven getting nerfed further down the line if it turns that weapon into a monster and then I guess that leads to an outcry from people saying they've just spent a ton of platinum on that Riven and now it's after getting nerfed. They basically want to see how well weapons will perform before upgrading the Riven disposition of that weapon so that it's not ridiculously overpowered. Now my biggest worry with this would be that if a new weapon gets added and it is a mediocre weapon then they may not actually upgrade that Riven at all and it may forever stay as a mediocre weapon so hopefully that isn't the case but anyway that's the previously unannounced change that will be making their way with the deadlock protocol as well share your thoughts in the comment section below what you like or you don't like like the video or don't subscribe or don't and as always thanks very much for watching